Welcome back, everybody, to the Las Vegas Raiders franchise, and we have a huge, an enormous matchup here in Week 16. Three weeks left, taking on the Los Angeles Chargers, who right now hold the number one seed in the AFC, tied for the best record in football. They hold a six-game win streak, but everything is so tightly contested in the AFC that a loss could just knock you down to maybe the third or fourth spot. And for us right now at 8-6, and six, we need to keep winning. We need victories 100%. There's teams right there. We could finish with 9-10 to 10 wins and miss out on the playoffs. So we got to do everything we can. We know we have the Chiefs matchup next week, which we have had no success against Kansas City. Pat Mahomes has just absolutely destroyed us. But we have to concentrate on this week. Try to beat this Chargers team. We did beat them early in the season. Remember, last year in Season 1, we had some absolutely insane games being stopped at the goal line to lose. We lost both games against them. But this year, we did beat them 37-31 in the last matchup. We know we're in store for a heck of a game. These division matchups are always, always tightly contested. And especially these Chargers games, it seems like they're always just crazy, down-to-the-wire games, but we need it, and here we go. Let's get this one going here. Monday Night Football, just three weeks left here in season number two. Is Austin Dawson with the return up to around the 21-yard line, and that's where Trey Lance and this Raiders offense will start, as Trey Lance obviously now going forward. Max Sampson out for the season, but he's actually played, I would say, pretty well. You know, not putting up anything crazy, but performing, I would say, very solid. As this guy, now that's been a different story. Josh Jacobs, I mean, he's not only been solid, he has been fantastic down this stretch and really the entire season. He is the catalyst, no doubt about it, for this offense. You know, trying to work in these young receivers, but when you have a guy that can just continuously be consistent like Jacobs is and just, you know, you need the yardage, all right, we got you. He has been fantastic. And yeah, Joseph Good, it gives time for this guy to develop, and he has looked really, really good. Probably the last, I would say, month of the season. I mean, he started off slow, and we saw some glimpses, but he's really performed well. As over the middle, finding Jacobs, and he has been really key in the receiving game as well, picking up some really key first downs. As Jacobs having a fantastic season, and this offense rolling here to start this game. Firing, and that is a really nice pass because Eric Kendricks was there. The timing is there. Catch first down. And I just noticed, uh, this is post-patch, obviously, this game. I just noticed the uh, cleats of Joseph Good. He has multicolored cleats. That must be a glitch. I have to figure that one out. I have to change it for next game. Did not notice there, but that's eh, whatever. It's, it happens, obviously, with every patch. But Joseph Good, another grab. Close to a first down. And a third down and one. You know where we're going. We're going to this guy. Josh Jacobs up the middle and Jacobs down to the one. And really, I mean, I, I'm fine probably giving him three shots, maybe four shots to get into the end zone. Let's go right to him. First and goal. He doesn't need that many. He is in as Jacobs. Another touchdown. I mean, this guy has just been unbelievable this season. On his way to a rushing title. Maybe running back of the year. I mean, he is, get him in, a, hey, that's what I'm saying. Get this team in the playoffs. Right now, I would say our defense, it still struggles. We have the worst defense in football still, which, you know, rushing defense, we've improved. Passing defense, it's just not there. But you get a good run game in the playoffs, you can do anything. You mean, limit those possessions, it can definitely work out in your favor. We'll see if he can stop Justin Herbert, who's putting up an MVP season. Hands off to Austin Eckler, but he's going nowhere as Eric Armstead with a nice run stop. As the Chargers trying to win the division for the second straight year. Third down and six. Herbert to throw. Firing. That is good coverage, but Quinton Johnson is there for the catch. I mean, that was fantastic coverage, but Johnston with the, uh, I mean, right there. Nice hands. Grabs it. First down. Now they hand off to Eckler again. This time more running room. Burning's going to bring him down, but not before Eckler picks up the first. I mean, this offense is absolutely explosive. That is why they have, you know, the best record in football. Well, tied for is that is going to be caught by the rookie tight end for the touchdown. Dennis Ross, who in game number one against us had a pretty good game. 
And he comes away with a touchdown here. And just like that, we're tied up here at seven apiece. And I'd expect here another probably high-scoring affair. Both defenses. That's what it seems like here in the AFC West this year. I mean, I think Kansas City, uh, I think they have like the number 30th defense. This Chargers team defense is in the high 20s. I mean, there's not a lot of defense being played here in the AFC West with some high-octane offenses. So I expect games in the 30s, maybe 40s. Hey, we saw the 50-45 to 45 game. So uh, I expect a lot of scoring here as Jacobs, one man to beat, and we're down to the 31 just like that. That's what I'm saying. Neither one of these defenses right now has an answer for either of these offenses. Jacobs breaks off one tackle. Kendricks is going to bring him down, but picks up another eight. Jacobs already, I mean, the way he's running this game, he's going to be 100 yards by half. As Hill's going to get through for a first down. Trying to mix him in as well. Get kind of that speed element. You know, Edwards Hilaire, not the fastest guy, but he get in at Justice Hill. He's got that acceleration speed. Kind of switch it up. As that's a perfect throw as Jalen Hyatt dives in for the touchdown. Man, Trey Lance making some fantastic throws so far in this game. And Jalen Hyatt says, there's no way you're not stopping me from getting into this end zone. Dives forward, gets in. Retake the lead, 14-7. And there we go. That's what we're going to have to do. Tyree Wilson with the sack. We need him and Crosby to, to dominate and put pressure on Herbert. Try to make him make mistakes, which he doesn't do very often. And there's Max Crosby. Sack as maybe the pressure. That's what will happen to a quarterback. You, you get sacked. You start to feel the pressure. Maybe you kind of freak out when there's nothing really there. That's what we want to see is Michael Mayer is going to drop that one. Ball's incomplete. That's a big drop there because now instead of a third and short, it's a third and 12. Lance, doesn't matter to him. Perfect throw, finds Jacoby Myers. He's got to grab first down. Man, Trey Lance. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I really am. He is making some great throws here. Drop back. Lance, there's nothing there. Just throw that one away. Don't even worry about that one. Just get rid of it. Don't want to take a sack. And obviously, Trey Lance has the ability to run as well. Probably could utilize, utilize that a little bit more. But right now, the way he's throwing, and as I'm saying that, he had Jacoby Myers open, and he missed him. And that's going to fall incomplete. But we're going to route Carlson here for about a 54-yarder. And the kick is up, and he has got it. He is one of the best kickers in football. Proves it there. Get some more points on the board. 10-point lead here, 17-7. As that's going to be Joshua Palmer with the grab. Picking up around 7 yards. Start off this Chargers drive. And a third down and one. Herbert to Eckler, and he breaks off the tacky of Bern, tackle of Bernie as you had him. But Eckler, you know, one of the top running backs in football. Shows it there. Key first down. You did not want to go three and out there and just punt the ball right back to our offense. But they continue the drive. Another Quinton Johnston first down catch. The outside, man open. That's caught Palmer again. Up to the 39-yard line. And another Chargers first down as Herbert may be getting to a bit of rhythm here. Brings some heat, but it's picked up. And yeah, that is a perfectly timed pattern and throw. The blitz is picked up great by the offensive line as Puna Ford has some muscle cramps. He will return. Now with maybe our defensive line a little bit banged up, they still go to the pass. I was thinking maybe to go to Eckler, but nice hit by Trayvon Merrick. Knocked the ball out away from Palmer. Ball's incomplete in a third and two. Could go to the run here. They're going to pass it over the middle. That's caught, and that is going to be close to a first down. Well, close to a, I would say, touchdown. Quinton, Quinton Johnston with the catch. It is a first, but it's, Almost a touchdown. And now second down and goal. Eckler going nowhere. This time not getting away from Bernie. As Quan Alexander shaking his arm a little bit. He wants some help. Calling for help on the sideline. So testing that out. And now a third and goal. Can we hold them to three here? Herbert to throw. Fires and that one's going to be caught by Palmer. And they're calling that incomplete. Shoulder strain for Alexander. That was an interesting play. They're going to challenge this. I have to see this one again. It was odd because he kind of just threw the ball out. 
that's really interesting. Let's see, one, you can't quite see the second one, and then he just releases the ball. I don't know if that's a completed pass or not, and they're going to say it is. They're going to say it's a touchdown. Let's take a look at this again. So he has the catch, right? One foot down, and the second one doesn't come down till it's out of bounds. I guess they're saying maybe the cleat hit first, but, but by the time the foot lands, it's on the white. That is no way a catch or a touchdown. Blown call by New York and the officials. How do you allow that to be a touchdown? It is, though. It counts. Man. Officiating screws it up again. I guess uh, nothing new there, right? That happens all the time. So instead of, you know, a field goal, that's it, 17, you know, 10, now it's 17, 14, we get stopped there offensively, and the Chargers have the momentum in their favor. Go to the outside, that's LaVisca Chenault with the grab, and yeah, the Chargers here with less than two minutes left have a chance to really take the lead when I'd say we've almost dominated this first half. And Chenault with another grab and another first down here for the Chargers. They have two timeouts left, but plenty of time. Herbert to throw. Over the middle, oh man! I was hoping Trayvon Merrick would step up and make that play. As Eric Armstead holding his arm, that is not what you want to see. As Puna Ford, you know, hopefully we'll be back here shortly, but man, our D-line depth not very good right now. It's an upper arm fracture for Armstead. That is no good. That might be a season ender. First and goal, Herbert to the outside, caught. And that'll be stopped, but they'll use their second timeout. Second and goal. Hand off to Eckler, and he's in for the touchdown. And that's what's going to happen. We don't have the depth right now to really stop him. And if they want to run the ball with Eckler, we might have some troubles here going to the second half. In for the touchdown. Chargers take the lead, 21-17. we got 24 seconds left. Maybe we can get to field goal range here. Jacobs on the screen. Nice block on the outside. And Jacobs is down. We'll call a timeout there. We have only one timeout left. So we got to be careful here. You know, you want to be aggressive, but not too aggressive where you, you know, have a turnover. As Lance firing just like that. Oh, man. That is what we don't want because they'd have one completion. And next thing you know, they can pick up a field goal. Over the middle, that is going to be dropped by Hyatt. And you know what? Six, what, well, five seconds left here. We're just going to be conservative. I know it's a, you know, it, you know, you could maybe throw one up. You got Joseph Good. Uh, but let's just going to run a tight end screen. Let's just get to halftime. So a controversial touchdown call is going to help the Chargers get a lead here at halftime. 21-17. There was no way that was a touchdown. That was incomplete. Like I said, even if his cleat hits the end zone first, by the time that foot lands, it's like the heel-toe situation. Once it goes down, he's out of bounds. And anyway, he kind of like just threw the ball away. I don't know how that's a touchdown. So, taking a look at these other scores. Miami, that's where we have to watch out. Miami won. Same with Cincinnati. We have to look at that. They beat Atlanta big time, 42-14. So, those are the teams we have to really watch out for. Kansas City shut out Tampa Bay 35-0. So... We face them, obviously, next week. We're still in the division, but, um, yeah, I think that would probably put us out the division with Kansas City uh, winning there. That would be it. We'd have to have Kansas City lose the last two and same wing with the Chargers and obviously beat them here. So I think that's pretty much it for our division chances. But still, wild card chances are there. We're right there. That Dolphins team, the Patriots team, those are the teams right now, yeah, in Cincinnati that we're going to really have to watch out for. It's, it's going to come down to Week 18. There's probably no doubt about it. But let's get into the second half. Third and nine to the outside. It is caught. LaVisca Chenault comes up with a huge grab there on third down. Man, we are having troubles in the secondary. First and ten, handoff to Eckler. As Smith with probably a touchdown-saving tackle. There was nobody back there. There was a corner getting blocked. He probably wasn't making that stop. That's Eckler to the outside again. Stretch run works out again. This is going to be close to another first down. So third and inches now from the 25-yard line. I'm telling you, this is probably what they want to do is Bernie, there we go, makes the stop. Quan Alexander back in from injury. 
as Amari Bernie makes a fantastic tackle. Turning into one of the better linebackers in football, and they're going to go for it here. Fourth and two. Go to Eckler again, and it doesn't happen. He has stuffed Jerry Tillery with the stop. Great job defense. And I had a feeling with Eric Armstead out, I had a feeling this is where they'd probably go. You know, you got uh, you know, Puna Ford, a little shaken up. So our defensive line, not in the greatest shape. And yeah, Eckler trying to run it, but we stop him. As that's Eric Kendricks with a heck of a stop there on Josh Jacobs. And a third and 13. Man, they are bringing some heat, but it's picked up. Wide open is Joseph Good. Is anybody going to catch him? I don't think so. Derwin James won't and Good's it for the touchdown. Man, we just ran the perfect play call. The Chargers brought the blitz. Lance moves over a little bit. Picked up perfectly. And Joseph Good is just running down the field wide open. Busted coverage. We will absolutely take that. Good in for the score. Lance is all about it. And we're going to retake the lead here 24-21. Back and forth we go. We had a feeling this is going to be the type of game we're going to have here against this Chargers team. As that's going to fall incomplete. Third and six. Herbert to throw. Looking down the field. Doesn't see anybody. Throws it and Bernie is there to pick it off. Amari Bernie running down the field in that cover to coverage. Man, that looks like the, I would say back in the day, you could say Derek Brooks kind of deal. Um, Man, that was Luke Keekley. That looked really good. I mean, he was back there like a safety. What a play from the linebacker, Bernie. As look out, that could have been picked. But what a play. We just got to take advantage. Got to get something out of it here. Third and ten. And going to run out of time. Nobody really open. That is going to be a sack. And the Chargers defense steps up when they need it. And that will force a punt. But we're actually seeing some defensive play here in this third quarter. Fourth down, stop, interception. But not on this one. As Eckler gets around the edge and he's got a first down up to the 31-yard line. But still, good to see some defensive play. That's I feel like sometimes here in these games, you just don't see a lot of defense played. As I was saying earlier, the AFC West hasn't shown it as Bernie with another great stop. Loss of one. Third down and seven. Oh, man, to the outside. That's going to be caught. Man, Quinton Johnston, just nice route on the outside. Jacorian Bennett just didn't recognize it. And that is a catch first down. Chargers with another big third down conversion. As what was that coverage from Bennett? He completely left the man. What are you doing? Jacorian Bennett struggling in this game. He got the start today. And he's struggling. As I would say he probably got beat there, but it's just a bad throw from Herbert. Incomplete. So third down. They're setting up a screen at Eckler, but guess what? Amari Bernie is there. Another great stop. Holds him to a field goal attempt here. It's just about about a 43-yard field goal. Kick is going to be up, and it is perfectly down the middle and good. All right. 24 apiece. Fourth quarter. Here we go. We'll be at the 25-yard line. Lance to throw, and he misses his receiver incomplete. Joseph Good was there. He's boxing out the defender. Definitely probably would have made the catch. Can't hit him. Third and ten. Lance rolling out. Gets away from the blitz. And a wide open. Jalen Hyatt gets the two feet in bounds. First down. Man, they're having some issues with those blitzes. They're having some blown coverage for sure. As Jacobs breaks off one tackle. Kendricks will bring him down. But a gain of six there for Josh Jacobs. Who's had a quiet second half. That is for sure. Got a third down. This is Josh Jacobs territory. He's got the run. Breaks off one tackle. That'll be enough. Move the chains first down. That is his area. Give that guy the ball. Let him do his work. First and 10. Lance to throw. And that is good with a great grab. I mean, you just throw it up to that guy and you have the confidence he's going to come away with it. 
Early in the season, I would say not really. He was having some troubles with the drops, but not lately. He has been fantastic. As we toss this one, Edward Solaire. Nobody around the edge, and he's in for the touchdown. Clyde Edwards Hilaire in for the score. And we're going to take the lead here in the fourth quarter, 31-24. Great blocking on the outside from this offensive line. And we got a seven-point lead again. Nine minutes left in this game. I'm... <laughs> I don't think we're done. I'll just tell you that right now. As that's going to fall incomplete and intended for LaVisca Chenault. Second and ten. Go to Eckler on the ground. Bernie is there and he brings them down. He has been a tackling machine in this game. Oh, uh, He has to have a decent amount of tackles in this game. I'll have to ch obviously, we'll check it after the game. Third and eight. And that one's going to be... Oh, it's going to be dropped! I thought that was going to com be completed for sure. Right in between. It was a perfect throw in between Bernie and the safety. Not completed. So that is a big stop. And look at Josh Jacobs just stumbling, bumbling, going down the field, rumbling, breaking tackles. First down. This is huge. we got to try to get this up to a two-score game. Lance to throw. He's firing. Jalen Hyatt. It's got it. Hyatt. Touchdown. Second of the game. Great protection. And what a throw from Trey Lance finding Jalen Hyatt for the score. Man, this young receiver has found a new home. He's found a place to... You know, they're kind of... I was going to say blossom butterfly there. They're kind of doing a little celebration. But Jalen Hyatt, man. He is looking fantastic. Unbelievable. And he's just scratching the surface. Continue to uh, work on his route running. This guy could be unstoppable with his speed. Woo! We'll take a two-score game, 38-24 right now. But obviously, we've seen in the past, we had a two-score game lead against them last year. We lost it. So, you know this isn't over. They have the ability to score quickly, as that is Palmer with the grab and a first down. Yeah, still plenty of time left in this game. Herbert play action. Looking, and that's going to be caught. Palmer again. Oliver in coverage. You got to... I want to see my guys make breaks on the ball, and I'm just not seeing that right now. First and ten. Bernie got get through quickly as Eckler gets through, and he'll be close. They can actually still get a first down here, which is interesting. Man, I don't know about that. That is like right at the goal line. Second and three. Eckler with the run. Bernie breaks off the one tackle, and he's going to be in for the score. So Eckler, we had a chance to bring him down, but he breaks a few tackles. He's in for the touchdown. Back to a seven-point game. Just like I said, there's plenty of time left in this game, so we can't celebrate yet. As Mayer with the grab, wish he would have been able to turn that upfield. There was nobody in front of him. So now it's a third and three. Lance looking. Firing down the field to good, hoping he makes a play, but it's going to fall incomplete. And that, that Mayer grab could be huge because if he turns it up there, that's a first down. As Joshua Palmer, instrumental in that last drive, couple of big catches, has over 100 yards in this game, trying to tie this game up. As Eckler with the carry, breaks off one tackle, gets around the edge, and will be brought down. And this will bring up a third down and five. And adjustments at the line, Herbert. The throw. Outside, and that's going to be caught. And there is Joshua Palmer. And that will be enough for a Chargers first down. 2.15 left in this game. Chargers trying to look for the game time touchdown. Herbert to throw. Pressure coming from Merrick. He breaks off one and somehow gets it away. Man. <sighs> Third and five once again. Would have loved the sack there, obviously. Herbert to throw. We're bringing some more heat. He has to get outside the pocket and he just throws it away. And it's going to be a fourth down and five. And this will be the last play, obviously, before the two-minute warning. So actually worked out in the Chargers' favor, even though they don't get this here. As Herbert looking. He's going to have to throw it. Fires it up and it's knocked away incomplete. We do get the stop. But because of that two-minute warning, you know, at least gave him one more stop. So now... If we get at least a first down, this game could be over. If they use their first one there. Second and six. Jacobs up the middle, and he's got it through. That's a first down. 
And pretty much that is going to seal this ball game. Jacobs is going to seal this game away. And we're going to come away with a victory. 38-31. Man, what was the last game? 37-31? These games are just high-scoring affairs. And we beat the Chargers for the second time this season. So right now, in division, we've beaten the Broncos twice. We beat the Chargers twice. The only loss is to the Chiefs. We've actually performed very well this year. As Trey Lance was fantastic. Jacobs goes over 100. Had a uh, touchdown there. Um, Edwards Hilaire with that touchdown. But man, Trey Lance looked really good. Joseph Good and Jalen Hyatt both over 100 yards. Myers, solid game. But yeah, I was impressed. Really impressed with the offensive line as well. And you look at that. Amari Bernie and Trayvon Merritt. 14 total tackles apiece. Tackle, machines. Bernie had four tackles for loss. Had that key interception. And Crosby with... Crosby and uh, Tyree Wilson with a sack apiece. But Amari Bernie, man, what a tackle machine there. So we do slow them down. We end them six, their six-game uh, winning streak. As Eric Armstead, bro, you're like out for the season now. 10-plus break tackle, play wreck, and tackle next game. Uh, we're going to need it against the, char the uh, Chiefs. Entire team gets uh, 2,500 XP. Yeah, we'll need that against the Chiefs. Yeah. I mean, we know what happened last time. Yeah, he's out for three weeks. So, remainder of the regular season. And then, more than likely, obviously, it'll put us into the wild card. If we're in the wild card, yeah, he'd be out at least till then. Let's take a look at it. We've actually moved up to number six. Right now, would be a matchup with the Ravens, which that was the game that kind of started this turnaround. You know, that, that victory kind of propelled us going forward. Our season was pretty much on the brink of being over you lose that game you go to two and six the season's done but we get the victory and we just turn this around so now the bills are the number one seed chargers right now at the two ravens at the three saw chiefs are a wild card we're a wild card patriots another wild card dolphins on the outside edge because the jaguars are division leader you got the Bengals there titans have make it made a run so the Jaguars and Titans are super close there. One of them's winning the division. Man, this is absolutely crazy. Yeah, the Bengals are sitting right there. Patriots and Dolphins with us. Oh, man, this is going to be a wild last two weeks. This game is so big. Uh, it's going to be tough. We have yet to beat the Chiefs in the series. You know what happened last game? It wasn't good. We need this game badly. If we lose this game, there's still a chance that we go into Week 18, beat Pittsburgh, and get into the playoffs. But if we lose this game, I don't know. All right, it might it might be over. So this game is it's ginormous. We have to beat Kansas City in Kansas City when they're trying to win the division themselves. We'll see if we can get the job done. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. I really do appreciate it. You guys are fantastic. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Hit that like button. Subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.